first of all, thank you to everyone who suggested I check out Lush for vegan, cruelty-free lip stains. Paying off, as you can see. I will be doing a cruelty-free lip product haul once they all come in. I ordered several, but in the meantime, I have a candle haul for ya. Now before I get into this, I just want to make a disclaimer. I live with my parents and they don't charge me rent. If I ever buy clothes for myself, they are used. And I use freaking baking soda to wash my hair. Candles are one of the few luxuries that I actually indulge in. And I indulge in it because for me, it's worth it. When you are as involved in the like cozy autumn, winter, cold weather culture as I am, you start to crave better quality candles with more unique scents. And for me, the drugstore just cannot offer that anymore. And Bath and Body Works does. All of that said, I would never pay full price for these candles. All of the candles that I'm about to show you were on sale. The three wick candles often go on sale for $11 each. They advertise it as two for 22, but it's $11 each. You don't have to buy multiples of two to get the deal. And I had a coupon for $1 shipping, and then I had another coupon that got 20% off my already discounted order, and then free shipping also. So I got a lot of candles. And the first shipment, I got four. <laughs> One of which I've already talked about, so let's just start with that one. And it is eucalyptus mint. Fresh eucalyptus, spearmint, and a dash of citrus create an exhilarating fragrance that evokes the beauty of a brisk walk in cool mountain air. This is my holy grail candle. It is so fresh and clean. I just love it so much. Next is lavender vanilla. A blend of two timeless scents, lavender with creamy vanilla becomes unforgettable with touches of cedarwood, delicate jasmine, and citrus. This is not as crisp of a lavender scent as I was hoping for, but I guess I should have expected that because it smells quite a lot like vanilla. But it is very soothing. If I'm having a particularly stressful day, I will light up this candle and listen to some rain sounds and sip on some chamomile tea. Maybe do some yoga. Who am I? The next candle I want to talk about is Applewood Bonfire. Warm up to the cozy scent of an autumn bonfire. Apples, crackling bark, and fresh cut wood. This has replaced pumpkin carving as my favorite autumn candle. I actually don't know what to say about this because the description on the bottom is totally accurate. It smells like apples and wood. It's so pleasant. And I think the reason why I love this candle so much is because it is a really good transition into winter scents, which are my jam. Also, the rest of the candles that I have are winter scents. The last in that first order and the first of the winter scents is Fresh Balsam. The invigorating aroma of evergreen woods on a clear fall morning features crisp eucalyptus, fir needles, and cedarwood musk notes. I love candles that smell like trees. Something about the smell of fir trees and like balsam trees and Christmas trees in general, I just think it's the sexiest scent ever. I'm starting to realize that I am very attracted to candles that remind me of the outdoors. So I got five candles in the second order that I placed and the first one is evergreen. Inspired by the fragrance of a freshly cut evergreen tree, a blend of green fir balsam, cool pine, and dark woods. This one smells like the quintessential Christmas tree. Oh, it smells like Christmas! It smells so good. The next one is Twisted Peppermint. A fragrance featuring merry and bright peppermint with touches of vanilla and sugary musk is the perfect companion for a snowy day. It's just like sweet peppermint. It smells like candy canes. I like it a lot. I do not like overly sweet scents, and this has that peppermint in it that kind of balances it out, and it's just lovely. Plus, I really like the color of the wax. I don't know if that's a thing that people talk about in candles, but so pretty. Next, I will talk about Snow Day, a bright and joyful blend of spruce branches, peppermint, and sweet vanilla that captures the adventures of a snow-filled day. I'm mentioning this one now because it is basically a combination of the previous two candles that I talked about. The Twisted Peppermint and Evergreen combine to make Snow Day. It smells like trees and also like candy canes. The next one is Chestnut and Clove number two. Embrace the cozy feeling of the holidays with a warm blend of dark chestnut, crisp cedar, and fresh cloves. I quite like this. I like spiced candle scents, sort of, but I'm just so wary of getting them because they all smell like cinnamon, and this one doesn't. It smells like cloves, and that is lovely. I'm particularly excited to burn this one when it is a little bit colder. And the last candle that I bought is called Winter, a fragrance that conjures up the moment when glittering icicles and sparkling snow transform the landscape. Notes of pine needle, clementines, and winter woods. I bought this because I thought I had smelled it before, but this is not the scent that I was remembering. That said, 
and it's very nice. I actually can smell the clementines. That's not bullshit, it's for real. Nothing in the description indicates how spicy this is. It smells a lot like cloves, even more than the chestnut and cloves one, but it is very nice. I really like it, and it definitely does smell like winter. So that is my candle haul, I know. I'm ridiculous. Sorry, not sorry. Bye!